We've all been there. If you buy a monitor today, odds are it'll have both HDMI and DisplayPort. With new versions of each interface being released every few years, it can be hard to keep up. Hey, I'm Nicholas from Meetings.com. Today we're talking about the differences between HDMI and DisplayPort, so you could figure out which one to use for your setup. The answer really depends on the specific capabilities of both your monitor and source device. While they may seem similar at first glance, each interface was developed with different users in mind. HDMI is the de facto standard on TVs and is used in a wider range of devices, from Blu-ray players to cable boxes and video game consoles. That's also why HDMI supports features like ARC and eARC audio pass-through, unlike DisplayPort. Meanwhile, DisplayPort was specifically designed for computers and has pretty much always had the edge for PC gaming, with extra features like daisy chaining and historically better VRR support. But it's a little more complicated than just HDMI is for TVs, DisplayPort is for PCs. Both HDMI and DisplayPort have evolved over time, with version updates every handful of years that have improved the capabilities of each protocol. More bandwidth means higher resolutions, faster refresh rates, and support for extra features like HDR and display stream compression. In January 2025, HDMI Forum announced HDMI 2.2. Once released, it'll offer the most bandwidth out of any specification so far, supporting signals up to 96 gigabits per second. But it'll be a long time before HDMI 2.2 is widely adopted. So where does that leave us? If we set it aside, DisplayPort 2.1 is the reigning king with a max bandwidth of up to 80 gigabits per second. Then you have HDMI 2.1 at 48 gigabits per second, followed by DP 1.4 and DP 1.2, and finally HDMI 2.0. Older versions of each are mostly obsolete at this point. If you're buying a monitor today, it will most likely support one of these newer versions. However, adoption of DisplayPort 2.1 is still limited. For instance, the first NVIDIA graphics cards with DP 2.1 were only released earlier this year. And at the time of making this video, we've only tested three monitors that actually support the full bandwidth of DisplayPort 2.1, one of them being the Asus ROG Swift PG27U CDM. In theory, both HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 2.1 can reach insanely high refresh rates, while HDMI 2.2 is set to raise the bar even further, supporting a theoretical max of up to 4K at 480Hz, 8K at 240Hz, and a ridiculous 12K at 120Hz. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. It's unlikely your monitor will actually support resolutions and refresh rates that high anytime soon, since most content is still limited to 4K at relatively low frame rates. Currently, the highest refresh rates on monitors on the market max out at 1440p at 480Hz and 4K at 240Hz, and they're expensive. Most also use Display Stream Compression, or DSC, to reach refresh rates that high. DSC is designed to compress the signal without adding latency in order to achieve very high refresh rates. While it's advertised as being visually lossless, it can also introduce bugs and artifacts, so it isn't ideal. Beyond that, the max bandwidth and refresh rate you get depends on the limitations of all components in your setup. For example, even if your monitor supports DisplayPort 2.1, your GPU might only support DisplayPort 1.4, which will limit your setup to DisplayPort 1.4. If you want to take full advantage of the latest HDMI or DisplayPort version, you'll need to make sure every piece of the puzzle supports it, or else you'll be limited to the weakest link in the chain. But let's say all of your devices do support the latest version of either interface. Even then, you might not be getting the maximum bandwidth possible. DisplayPort, for example, now offers seven different transmission modes, which determine the max bandwidth you'll get. So you might be capped at 40 gigabits per second with UHBR10, rather than the max of 80 gigabits per second with UHBR20. Likewise, some monitors with HDMI 2.1 ports have lower max bandwidth than the full 48 gigabits per second supported by HDMI 2.1. The Gigabyte M27U, for example, caps out at 24 gigabits per second, which means it has to rely on DSC to hit the highest refresh rates. Thankfully, if you want to figure out the limitations of your monitor, we test the max refresh rate on every monitor we review, including without DSC, if it has the option to turn it off. So if the capabilities of your monitor and source devices are the limiting factors, what is the difference between HDMI and DisplayPort 
outside of the theoretical maximums and potential future proofing. Well, there isn't really a difference as far as performance goes. If both options support the max resolution and refresh rate of your monitor, then input lag and response time will be the same. In some cases though, the bandwidth differences between the two come into play. For example, let's take a look at the Asus PG27 UCDM we mentioned earlier. It supports both HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 2.1. However, since DisplayPort 2.1 has higher bandwidth, Using DisplayPort on this monitor lets you hit 4K at 240Hz without DSC when using a compatible graphics card. If you were to use HDMI, the monitor would need DSC to hit 4K at 240Hz. For some, that may be the deciding factor that pushes them to choose DisplayPort over HDMI. DisplayPort has some additional advantages for gamers and PC users that HDMI doesn't. The main one is multi-stream transport, also known as daisy chaining. If you have a multi-monitor setup, then DisplayPort is a no-brainer thanks to MST. As long as your monitor includes DisplayPort out ports, you can chain multiple displays together through a single DisplayPort connection to your computer. On top of that, DisplayPort has historically played better with VRR, though this is becoming less of an issue now that HDMI 2.1 is more widespread on monitors. Both HDMI and DisplayPort support VRR, but NVIDIA's G-Sync doesn't always work over HDMI especially with older monitors, like the Samsung Odyssey G7 S28 AG70. Otherwise, you'll need a monitor that supports HDMI 2.1, which gives you HDMI 4 and VRR. Finally, DisplayPort has a handy feature called DisplayPort Alt Mode that allows certain devices to transmit DisplayPort signals via USB-C. This is super useful if you have, say, a laptop with a USB-C port, since you can both charge your laptop and transmit audio-video signals to your monitor using a single cable. Of course, there are pros to HDMI as well, but they mostly have to do with the fact that HDMI is a standard on TVs. Things like auto low latency mode on TVs and ARC, which is essential if you want to set up a soundbar or AVR, are what make HDMI the standard for certain use cases, like home theater setups. Because HDMI is so widely adopted on TVs, other devices like gaming consoles follow the standard. So if let's say you want to connect the console to your monitor, you're pretty much stuck with one option. If you know you're going to use your monitor with both a PC and a gaming console like the PS5, you'll likely have to use both. Save the HDMI for your console and stick with DisplayPort for your PC. It's easy to get caught up in the different versions and theoretical bandwidth capabilities of these interfaces. Of course, the announcement of HDMI 2.2 is exciting, but it often takes years for the market to catch up to these new protocols. DisplayPort 2.1, for example, was announced in 2022 and it's still not that widely adopted on monitors. So if you're trying to figure out if you should use HDMI or DisplayPort, check to see which versions your devices actually support first. While each one has certain advantages depending on your needs and use cases, you should go with whichever lets you get the most out of your monitor and PC. Thanks for watching. If you want to read a bit more about these differences or how we test things like the refresh rate, check out the articles on our website linked in the description below. Until next time, I'm Nicholas from Matings.com, where we help you find the best connection for your needs. Ciao. Here you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs>